Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video for 2.4 point Hebel cycle. In this video, what we're going to learn is to define electronic unity and lattice energy and explain the effect of ionic charge and ionic radii on your lattice energy. Okay, so for the definition of electronic unity and lattice energy, actually we have to look at it uh, on our notes on page 3 during 2.1. So here is going to do a bit of a recap. So what is actually electron affinity? It is the heat change when one mole of gases atom gain one mole of electron to form one mole of gases ion. So in this case, for this equation, all of the species must be one mole, one mole, one mole. But then, but then again, when your atom gain an electron, you will form a negatively charged ion or other name for it is actually an ion. And what is the lattice energy? Lattice energy is the energy release when one mole of solid ionic compound is formed from its gases ion. In this case, in this case, only the product will be one mole, but then it will be the solid ionic. So the state must be in solid and it is formed from the gases ion itself. Okay, so that is the definition. So let's look back on your notes on page 9. Okay, so here... Uh, remember, the lattice energy is when one mole of solid ionic compound is formed. So that is, uh, for the lattice energy, the product was, must be one mole. Okay, so we also have learned about the lattice dissociation energy, where we have looked at it briefly during our dissolution of ionic solid. Now remember this one, uh, lattice dissociation entropy. Okay, so what is the difference uh, between the lattice energy and the lattice dissociation? So for the dissociation, okay, so what it means is uh, dissociate, it wants to separate. So in this case, it will not form um, a solid ionic compound. What it will happen is that it will separate one mole of the solid ionic compound into its gases ion. So it's, so it's the direct opposite of our lattice energy. So here for this case, our reactant must be one mole of our ionic solid. Okay, so here just a bit of um, a diagram here to show it to you. For example, we have our ionic solid, our ionic, uh, our gases ion. Okay, it's um, reacting to form our ionic solid. So here is our lattice formation where the value will be negative 771. Okay, for this reaction, it's actually when heat is released, uh, energy is released. So that's why we have negative value here. Okay. But then for the lattice dissociation, it's actually from our ionic solid, we dissociate to form our um, ionic gas. Okay, so what happened here, the magnitude is the same, where the value is still the same, 771. But what changes is actually the sign itself lah. Because here it's negative, so when we uh, flip it, it will be a positive sign. Okay, so that is actually for the definition. Okay, so next what we're going to look at is actually... Um, what is the factor? What are the factors affecting your um, lattice energy? Okay, so here it mentioned here it mentioned that the larger lattice energy indicate higher strength of ionic bond. Okay, so the higher the strength of ionic bond, okay, the higher the stability of ionic compound. Okay, so here it mentioned that the lattice energy is there, uh, inversely proportional to ionic radii, but it is directly proportional to the charge of ion. So this is uh, are the factors that we're going to look at lah. Ionic charge and ionic radii. So is it true? Okay, let's discuss it together. Okay, for the case of ionic charge. Okay, so we have our compound lithium fluoride and magnesium oxide. So what I'm going to do now, okay, even though it says that it is a neutral compound, but then I'm going to write the charge of each of the atom here. So for the case of lithium, it's actually lithium plus and my fluorine is F minus. Okay, how about my magnesium oxide? So here, Mg2 plus and O2 minus. Okay, so from here, we can see that the lattice energy for magnesium oxide is higher than my lithium fluoride. And then from our radius, okay, the radius is quite similar, 0 0.2 something. Okay, the difference is 0 0.003, kan? So here it mentioned the ionic radius is almost similar. So what are the factors uh, that we're going to use? What are the factors that we're going to use to differentiate these two? It's actually our ionic charge. So for this case, we're going to mention that the ionic charge for magnesium oxide is higher than lithium fluoride. Okay, here, ionic distance, you can still. 
Okay, ni tak ada. This is actually the product I need ready. Yes, so please cancel this out. Okay, so from here, we know that um, magnesium has a higher uh, ionic charge and it has a higher lattice energy. So, it means that the lattice energy is directly proportional to the ionic charge. Okay, and then the lattice energy for magnesium oxide is higher than my uh, lithium fluoride. Okay, so that is for the case of ionic charge. Let's look for the case of uh, ionic radia. So again, what I would like to do first is actually write down the charge of the species. So here, Na plus Cl minus, Na plus Br minus. So for these two, for these two compounds, we can't use the case of um, ionic charge. Okay, so what we're going to look at is actually the ionic radii. Because as you can see here, NaCl has a higher lattice energy than NaBr. Okay. So, the first point here, it mentioned that the ionic charges are the same. But then again, the ionic radius for the chlorine, okay, chlorine here 0 0.181, okay, and bromine is 0 0.195. So, it means that the ionic radius for chlorine is smaller than bromine. So, what does it mean here? It means that the ionic distance, okay, ionic distance is when uh, we combine these two ion lah. So, here, ion for NaCl 0 0.276, my bromine is 0 0.29. So, here the ionic distance for NaBr is smaller. Here, NaCl, sorry. NaCl is smaller. Okay, so actually, from the ionic radii, uh, we're going to relate back to our chapter 3, periodic table, uh, where we know that, for the case of ionic radii, kita akan tengok yang down the group lah. Down the group. Okay, then the group, remember the shape dia macam ni, the N sus. Okay, down the group, this one, the size will be higher because for group 17, it's actually chlorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Okay, sometimes, okay, when we compare it, if um, for the case of ionic radii, um, you're going to compare it in terms of our group itself lah. Tengoklah sesama, it's either between our anion or our cation here. So here for the case of my uh, anion, chlorine and bromine. So chlorine uh, is actually higher than your bromine. So it means that for this case, remember the shape is getting bigger down the group. Bentuk dia. So the bromine is higher than my chlorine. Okay. So as we can see here, uh, the NaCl is smaller. But then the lattice energy is higher. So we know that the lattice energy is inversely proportional to the ionic radii. And then the lattice energy of NaCl is higher than my NaBr. Okay. Okay, next what we're going to look at is the example. Which of the salt will have a larger lattice energy? Okay, remember that for the lattice energy, it is actually directly proportional to the charge. The lattice energy directly proportional to charge but inversely proportional to your radii. Okay, remember down the group. Okay, down the group, the higher the, the radii. Okay, so let's look here for the case of NaCl versus uh, magnesium uh, sulfide. So, Na, Na plus, Cl minus, Mg is 2 plus, uh, sulfur is 2 minus. But sometimes if you're not sure, if you're not sure about the sign, the charge itself, since the magnesium is 2 plus, and this is, uh, as you can see, a neutral compound, so it means that here is 2 minus lah. Okay, so what is the factor that we're going to look at here? It's actually about our charge. Okay, and then we know it is directly proportional, so it means that my, um, Magnesium sulfide is the one with the higher lattice energy. Okay, next is between calcium oxide and beryllium oxide. Okay, calcium oxide, the charge here, 2 plus and O2 minus. Okay, here, O2 minus. So, my BA must be 2 plus. Okay, so from here, we can't uh, compare in terms of charge. We have to compare it in terms of radii. Okay, for the calcium, the number of proton is actually 20. And the number of proton for barium, I think, 56. Okay, and then, um, this is actually element in group 2. So, the element in group 2, sebenarnya we have our beryllium, 
magnesium, calcium, strontium, strontium, and then barium. Okay, and then we know that down the group, the size actually increasing. So here, nope. Ah, so down the group size B, ah, size increasing. Okay, but then again, remember that the lattice energy is inversely proportional to radii. So in this case, which one has a smaller radii? Is it calcium or barium? Ah, so the calcium. So since since it has a smaller radii, it will have a larger lattice energy. So here the answer for it is C A O. Okay, so that's it for this video.